hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Vanessa if you are new here today I am going to be running out the door in a second and I actually haven't picked up the vlog camera in a while this week has been really off for me not the greatest week and I don't know it's just been a weird week for me um, but it is Friday uh, really last minute change of plans for the weekend i am actually going to i was home this past weekend and i'm going to be kind of going home this weekend i'm going to jim thorpe to dom's home because it is his birthday next week so we are going to be celebrating his birthday at home with his family and then the following weekend so next weekend dom will be visiting me here in philly and we'll be doing like our own little thing here together so random tangent but right now i'm about to head out the door it's around like 1 2 o'clock ish and i'm going to be going to run some errands because i am going to i need some new makeup so i'm going to pick up some makeup potentially um and skincare from sephora and i need to look for things at like home goods michael's um kirkland's places like that for my sister's bridal shower because that, that's coming up on a month almost um so that's in september so i need to look for some things for that and then also potentially run some air i need to get something for dom for his birthday to fill like this little basket i'm making so i'm not gonna like really share too much about that just because i'm not exactly sure when this video is going to go live so i need to pick up some things for that i need to also potentially get something to bring home for his birthday this weekend so i don't know there's just a lot going on i need to pack later on tonight because i'm going home well to jim thorpe um his home so i'm about to head out the door and just get a move on with my day hopefully i'll also be able to take like an instagram picture or two i'm hoping i just have on this t-shirt dress basically and yeah my hair's done so might as well make use of my time out and about and also get some content while I'm out there too. So let's head out. I think I'm going to go to, I don't know where I'm going to go to first. We'll see. We'll see. But we'll see. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll talk in a little bit. Sounds mm, cool too. I am so excited for all of this stuff. Everything done. So we're on point and on top of everything getting done. What is this? Okay, so that was a pretty successful trip to Home Goods. Um, I refrained from getting anything for myself. So, and they also don't have like all of their fall collection out yet. It's just some of the stuff. So I refrained, thankfully. Um, but I did have success in getting two things, well, three things for my sister's bridal shower, two things to hold um, juice that we're going to put out at like the champagne bar. And then also like a little cards box thing. It has like, it's a little wicker basket. And then I'm just going to, uh, it has like a little chalkboard area on it. So I'm just going to write cards on there. So that will be perfect. Um, but now we are going, oh, Kirkland's. Kirkland's, I know. They already had some of their fall stuff out back in like July when Dom and I went to Kirkland's in Lancaster the last time I was there. So like. I know they're gonna have stuff um but that is where i'm going to head next um my mom wants something there potentially if they have it so we're gonna go to kirkland's. to kirkland's trader joe's is right next Proceed door to the route. and i'm going to get something for dom in there for his birthday um one thing that he really loves so i'm just gonna do that really quick and then head over to kop i know I said about going to Trader Joe's after I go to Kirkland's but look at the line I mean this is like typical but I'm not waiting in that line just to get one thing it's like 332 or 327 on a Friday this is I'm not waiting in it I can't stop myself I'm so obsessed like this place is heaven 
and it's like reasonably priced too. It's not crazy expensive. We all knew someone would do it. Go on a Sephora. Mm. I think I heard good things about this. I've seen this on YouTube before. Why isn't this focusing? This is the foundation that I currently use and I use also this concealer for a certain thing. And I love this. I've purchased this how many times now, but I, I don't know. I think I want to get something else. Um, I think I've definitely, I've had this before a while ago. I didn't really love it at the time, but I feel like I'd love it 10 times more now that I wear makeup all the time. So I might be getting that. <laughs> Oops, sorry guys, I forgot to update you when I got home. Um, basically, yeah, this week does not get any better. I mean, it's not a terrible week, it's just like my emotions. I don't know what's going on, but I am all over the place with my emotions. I am getting like really down in the dumps about certain things. And yeah, it's great hair. <clears throat> we are going to balance on my Yeti. So, yes, I changed tops. Um, I think I'm just gonna turn this vlog into like a weekend vlog, uh, like Dom's birthday weekend one, because he has another birthday weekend and his birthday still coming up. I am just getting ready to go. Um, Packing up everything. It's 6.44 and I'm just gonna head out. Um, maybe Sunday when I get back, I'll do a haul of everything that I got shopping. But because I'm in such a rush and I've been in a rush since I got home, I am just going to wait to do that. And yeah, I'll come back Sunday and show you guys everything that I got then. So, I am just gonna finish packing up get my apartment ready to be gone or ready for me to be gone and I will talk to you guys when I talk to you next. Wow, she's getting, she's foggy. Why is it so foggy? Oh, hey. Only one. Sorry, this is my friend Nate. Nate Field, shout out Nate. Go birds. Good morning, Good morning guys. <laughs> um, yeah, last night I didn't end up vlogging because uh, I forgot and I just got here. This lighting's crazy. I know, so, well, it would be so much better if I didn't look like this, but. Yeah, but I look like this, so. Okay, <laughs> all right. All right, listen to this. No. This is my birthday weekend, if you will. Mm -hmm. It's my birthday month, so mm -hmm. I should be showered with gifts throughout the month. He's a Leo, guys. So um, you already know what's coming. And Vanessa wants me to make her breakfast today. After my mom, a phenomenal cook who's been here the entire morning, just left to go get more food to cook. More food. Well. Good. Uh, yeah, last night we got in and I just, we sat outside, had a few beers, ate some food, hung out, and now it's the next morning. It's his birthday, weekend one. I already told him it's your weekend one birthday. Yeah, I have my next weekend too is also my birthday. Oh. oh! What? I thought it could be my mother. She just went to the store like five minutes ago. Yeah, but ago. she's quick. She's quick. Okay, well, <laughs> get, make what it something. What do you want? Here we are, after all our messes you know and confessions to the stars. What? What do you want? Do you know how to make an acai evil? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to make anything. <laughs> Seriously, I don't. <laughs> Here we are, 
trucker guy and we're coming down to downtown really quick because I'm gonna get a picture so I'll, I'll show all the peeps the downtown area it's so interesting why do people really come here they think it's cool I don't know I mean it is kind of look cool. at the fucking bank it's so cool but if you've never been here it's kind of cool you're up here, you don't give a fine fuck what it looks like. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but like it might look cool. Yeah. But there's nothing, there's nothing to, to do. do. Yeah, there's nothing to Unless do. No like good places to eat. eat. Little... You might disagree. Like that's what those people come for. Like yeah. that's what they want to do. That's fun, yeah, but that's dumb. Yeah, but that's right. not fun to anyone. This place to its full capabilities anymore. This is like a Harry Potter themed coffee shop. They always play Harry Potter in it. I figure I'll just show them. I've never been in here personally, but cool. um, got an iced oat milk latte for usual. I think I'm going to take this off. Yeah. Thank you. So, we were downtown. We got our pictures. It was crazy hectic down there, so I wasn't going to vlog. But, Dom lives on a hill, guys. Dom lives on a hill. So, I thought Max dropped us off downtown. I thought he was going to stay there. But, no. So, we had to walk semi back before I called it quits, and now Max is gonna come pick us up. My mom's actually getting us. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Oh. But, should we move? Should we no, we're gonna keep moving up. Yeah. So, Dom lives on a hill, so the only way to get back to his house is to walk up a freaking massive hill. There's one that's steep, and then there's one that's less steep. This is the steeper one. This is the steeper one? Uh. Mm. Steeper but shorter in terms of no. the hill. I don't know. I feel like the other one's actually, like windy. It's actually not as steep, but it's. <laughs> How is she gonna turn around? Anyway, I'm gonna have a hard time turning around. If my pretzels burn, it's gonna be your fault. Oh no, Dom. I have four minutes. It's not gonna be my fault. Four We're minutes. We're doing the dishes. I, you, told you. I would ad, wait. I would advise to turn around in this parking lot up here. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah. I was gonna say, don't go all the way down. No. It's crazy down there. I advise. I told you. I'd advise to turn around in this parking lot. Who the f are you? Oh, I know. Did you just get pictures? Yeah, we got them. Oh, we also ran into two people we knew. Oh, Christ! You knew them? I don't even remember what I said last time. Basically, the we were, talking, we were coming yeah, up the hill. We were coming up the hill, and I had a dress on, and it was just a pain in the ass. So we ended up getting picked up because the rest. We of the did way, get picked up. We I did, think. but the rest of the way is a hill too. Yeah. So anyway, I changed, and now it's about a 45 minutes. It's about 45 minutes Whoa, later. What are you doing here? Yeah, I know. It's in the church. Yeah, I guess so. That's crazy. About 45 minutes later, and I'm in an outfit from Spanx because I need to get content for a um, partnership coming up with them. So we are heading to Flagstaff. Um, take pictures there. So I don't know. You showed you've showed me it before, but I don't ever. I've never really been there. So yeah, Dom's eating a popsicle. Or what are they called? Popsicle. So. 
Oh my god. I call god. them freeze pops. Oh, freeze pops? Yeah, it's no, like. No, it's not a popsicle. So I would never call it a popsicle, mm -hmm. but it's a freeze pop, I guess. Free, yeah, but I think freeze pops are the name brand of a certain. Oh, really? Pop. So, know. you know, like uh, like Q tips or something like that? Kleenex. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's like just that. a brand. Yeah. So, my yeah. mom would always get freeze pops, but we just call them freeze pops. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, well, they're older. Alright. Anyway, we're heading out there, so we'll take you guys along with when we get out there and show you around. Show you around a little bit. So, we are at the 100 mile view up here. I've never been up here before. I guess, like, Dom and all of his boys used to come up here. Yep. Yeah, but we're gonna take some pictures out here, I guess, um, and do our little thing. Oh, okay. Of course. This right. is um, the 100 mile view, guys. Might wanna go over there. Okay. Yeah, sure. I didn't bring my camera out here, so. <sighs> Drink again. Cheers. Doesn't take much. What is this? shrimp? Shrimp bake. Wait, no. Shrimp boil. Shrimp boil. It's shrimp, chicken, potato. What are they? Baby potatoes. Yeah. Baby potatoes, corn. Anything else? Kibasi. Kibasi. Um, with blue moon. Oh. And old bay. And old bay. Smells crazy. That's, that's why I'm dressed like this. Because yep. I'm about to have my shrimp boil. Yes, this is what we were drinking last night. It's from Lancaster Brewing Co. You guys already know we love it there. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Where are your eyes? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That doesn't look like a four. No, not at all. Well, how do I make it look like a four? It's gotta go out further? Uh, I don't know what you're doing. I think that, that works. <laughs> you can kind of see. <laughs> <laughs> that does not look like a 24. Why is it like so windy? Right side. I really have to step up and do something here. Well, it's not windy out here, but apparently it is in Mosey. here. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. And many more. Wait! <laughs> Dom! What do you mean? <clears throat> that was what was I supposed good. to do? That was pretty good. You got them all out. How long is this supposed to wait for? <laughs> He this was over is at the game the other so upsetting. <laughs> it really is. Also, how are you cutting the cake? Yeah. I don't know. What was that? <laughs> that oh is a little fly man. I won't be. I won't be easy on you. How is it? I think there's Seriously? a lot of sugar too, and it really hurt my teeth. I even cut back on the sugar. <laughs> it was really sweet. Don't bother your teeth. Yeah, man. Don't even eat it, Nassim. <laughs> yes, it's. I
chill? You were just like so chill. Oh my god. Oh my Listen, god. I live here. They probably don't. I don't live here anymore. It's crazy but, uh, down here already. Yeah, we are. You got the steam engine. I got a lead. Hopefully, this Duncan has it. Because if not, I'm going to be upset. But we got a lead that Duncan has their pumpkin spice out now. And this is vital information, guys, because. We you were so know. excited. You know, I need pumpkin spice. I was like thinking about letting my hair grow out. Yeah. And now, looking at it today, I want to chop it all off. I want to cut all of it off. I was going to let all of it grow, too. You guys want to let the sides grow in and just have the big old mane. Uh, I'm, I'm good without that. Yeah, but it would look fire, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we are en route to Duncan. You're good with fast. what? Yeah, I'm good with you not doing that. Not letting it grow out? Yeah. So, cut it? If you're gonna let it grow, I'd rather you cut it than let it grow out like the like way the that way you said it. Right it. I like the way it looks right now. You don't keep it around long enough. So, it reminds me of when I first met you. And she didn't like me. No, but I kept you around. I kept you on my, I kept you on your toes. Yeah. All right, we're going to Dunkin'. Yeah, we're going to Dunkin' to get pumpkin spice, so hopefully they have it. Because this is really heightened. They probably don't have coffee here. <laughs> um, yeah, but then when we come back, his mom's making pancakes. Jesus. Blueberry pancakes. Blueberry pancakes. It's a fall day, guys. It's like 70 degrees out here. It's like supposed to rain today, I'm pretty sure, but it is. Are they gonna be able to hear with all the wind? Yeah, they'll be fine. So, we'll see you guys there. Whoa, buddy. Update, no pumpkin spice. Dom is in it, eager to get back home to get pancakes. Dom is eager to get back home. Eager. But since we came all the way out there, I figured I had to get something. Shit. This Sorry. is not good. It is not good. It is watery tasting. <laughs> Usually it's a lot stronger, and this you can tell Put by the aspect. Uh. So yeah, today was a fail with um, fail. Today was a fail, fail, fail. Guys, last night you should have been there. You should have been there, but I didn't have you there. Around the campfire, we I was going through a list of words that people often say wrong. So like caramel, envelope. Fail. Uh, Fail. Adult. Adult. Yeah. People say adult. Well, those people are just wrong. <laughs> um. What else? What else was? What's another one? Um. New Orleans. New Orleans. I say New Orleans. Crick so. and Creek. Crick and Creek. Um. Yeah. There's just a bunch of them, but we were kind of like going back and forth as to what we say, but. Now we're just picking up what everyone else says. Yeah, I put up polls on Instagram and both people, I say caramel and I say envelope, and both polls got over 100 for both of those two. Doesn't mean it's right. Doesn't mean it's right. I don't think either are right or either. There's another good one, either and yeah. either. I don't think either are <laughs> right. I think it's just dependent on what you say, what sounds right to you, so. Yeah. Um, caramel is not right. It's caramel. And that's coming from someone who used to say caramel. I used to say caramel. We did look it up last night. And they, but it's, they, it's, it's not. It's not caramel. It's it is, just, though. No, it's not caramel. It's like caramel. <laughs> no. It's not like caramel. No. When, we, yeah, when we sounded it out last night, when we did the pronunciation, they weren't, they weren't putting the emphasis on the A. They were just like caramel. Caramel. It's okay. not caramel. You're literally saying it exactly the same way. You're gonna look back and see. Oh, I, it's I, just not putting as much emphasis on the end. Whatever. Caramel. There caramel. you go. Caramel. Which is still wrong, but it's caramel. 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 Which still sounds wrong to me, but it's the correct pronunciation. Caramel. It's not caramel. Caramel. Envelope and envelope. Envelope is the right one. No. Yes, it is. 
is. No, it's, well. No, I looked it up last night and it does the same exact thing. It says envelope. When you do the pronunciation for caramel and envelope, it's caramel See, and it's envelope. I would say that that is Oh, just... Dom just has to be right. No, 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 no. You just have to be right. No. Yeah. Did you not just hear the pronunciation of it? When what? we did it last night? Did you not just hear the up? pronunciation of how I said caramel? When we looked And you had, it up. it's not caramel, it's It is, caramel. I'm admitting it is. I, Cause we looked it up. Yes, but I've watched the videos on this. I had to, I had to figure it out. They could be, they could it is be a, false, like videos with a bias. It's a dialect thing. Okay, that's it. She didn't want to hear that. No, why is that it? We're because still fighting about so this. Caramel and caramel could be a dialect. Envelope is the right thing. No, but okay, caramel no. and caramel are just mm -hmm. mispronunciation. Leave your comments down below. It's just mispronunciation. No, 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 no. You're leaving out a whole syllable. No, leave the car comments down below caramel. on envelope. Not it's car spelled. Not caramel or caramel. Okay. Envelope. We know that it's caramel. Envelope. Leave them down below it's because envelope. it's envelope. It's an envelope. You just want to deny that you didn't hear the right pronunciation yeah, of I it. I didn't hear it. And it was just, it was Google and they are right about it one everything. Way. Okay, guys. Goodbye. We are done. We will see you when we get some banana or when we get some pancakes in us. Banana. Blueberry pancakes. Blueberry pancakes. Mm. Probably make them with bananas, huh? Yeah, your Blueberry. mom made them for me like a few weeks ago. They were banana oat pancakes banana with pancakes. blueberries in them. Okay. These are not healthy by any means. Alright. I saw the this... milk and vegetable oil content going in them. But I guess that's they are the best, you know? It's the best when it's not the healthiest. Alright, see you guys when we get home. And I was like, dude, you the entire fight he was backing up. Like he was mm -hmm. he was like flinching to that's Paul Yoke. I'm out. <laughs> I literally just got back to my apartment and it is 8.11. Guys, I left Dom's at three something, like 3.30 almost. And I stopped to get groceries and stopped at two other stores, but I was quick, quick with the two stores. And then I went to Trader Joe's and Wegmans over by King of Prussia. Trader Joe's had a line to get in. Wegmans was packed and crazy and guys I usually go on a Sunday and it was not this it was it hasn't been crazy in Wegmans in a while so I don't know if it's like students are coming back to college now or what but I don't like it <laughs> um anyway so then I was hitting some pretty good timing because I wanted to come back to my apartment and just have a nice relaxing night before going to bed early because I want to go to bed early and then I hit traffic immediately as I'm heading back to my apartment on 76 and I look to see what's going on because I see people backing up and there's some sort of apparently like a tree down I don't, a tree was down I don't know if it caused an accident but basically it caused a backup of over an hour of sitting in traffic so and I don't live far from it should take me about 15 minutes when I hop on 76 then like coming towards the city to get home and it took over an hour and Probably like an hour and a half. So I am pretty tired and worn out and I just want the hell to be showered in my bed and watching All-American but I'm gonna pack my unpack my groceries, okay? Then I'll shower and get ready for the night. And then, as I promised you guys on Friday, I will do an unbox or like a haul of what I got at the mall on Friday because I promised you guys and because I love you guys so much. So I have a shit ton of groceries. I'm not gonna do a grocery haul because I just want them to be put away. I just wanna get in the shower and relax. So we will see you guys after that is all done. But that is what I'm gonna do really fast. Shotgun and Linda, bring me your eye. I just got out of the shower. I'm currently in the process of now unpacking and everything like that. 
So I'll just do a quick Sephora haul, which, and I already took some of these products out and used them this weekend. Um, so we got, I'm not gonna shake everything out and do any, any explaining. I will do more in depth, um, a more in depth blog post and I'll like post about it on my um, Instagram and probably put it as a highlight if you guys wanna see more information about it. So, fresh soy face cleanser. I was running low on this. I've repurchased this like 80 times now. It is my go-to, it's the best. Um, so I got one of those. I picked up an old Henriksen um, Let's Get Luminous uh, Brightening Essentials set. So it came in a set of three. It came with their Truth Serum, which I used to use a really long time ago, but it's just a little bottle of it. Um, and then this is a pretty decent size of their Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream, which is actually what I wanted to get from them. Um, but when I saw this, it was kind of like cheaper to get this, and I know this will last me a while. And then also it came with their Banana Bright Eye Cream, which is great because I ran out of my eye cream. Actually, I'm going to put some of this on right now. So, love the Ole Henriksen vitamin C brightening line. I'm currently using the Banana Bright Serum right now and I love it, but I just want, I like trying new products. I don't like to stay the same with the products I use also because I don't want my skin to get used to it. I also picked up an IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I've used this in the past um, and now, I don't know. I, I didn't love it in the past, but I feel like I'd like it now, so I repurchased this. I wanted to try a new foundation. I had used the NARS uh, Luminous Foundation, something like that, Radiant Long Wear Something Stay <laughs> Foundation. I've loved that for so, so long, and the girl actually told me that like it's hard to go back to anything or to try and go to anything else after you've tried that. So she recommended to me, but I did want to try something new. So she recommended the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Luminous Foundation. It's very similar to NARS. I don't know. It might be a little bit cheaper. Um, and I've already used both of these twice, and I love them. So I've used them once. Sorry. I meant to say I used them once already, but I've used both of these. So I love it so far. I picked up, um, because it's so hyped up and I need a new hydrating lip balm. I picked up the Laneige um, Lip Sleep Mask in vanilla. Everyone gets the berry, but I don't like berry things. I like vanilla things. Um, I got a little detox dry shampoo from Dry Bar. I love this stuff, but I, um, what should I call it? It was one of their like 100 point things. I got a refill of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel, which is amazing. I got a the Born This Way, Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. Um, never tried this, someone recommended it to me, so I decided to give it a go, and I love it so far. I picked up another Isla Paradise Self Tanning Drops. I got this time, um, the I got this in dark this time. I have the medium ones, but I figured I'd get the dark. So, Oh, also, I wanted to try a sample of the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, so I got that. And then also, which is not, I packed it away for the weekend, so it's the, um, what is it, Oue, O-U-I-A, something like that. I don't know. I'll have, I'll have all this stuff linked down below for you guys, but it's their dry shampoo. I needed dry shampoo, so I picked theirs, theirs up. So, that is all from Sephora, and then from Bath & Body Works. They were having their, um, the three wick candles are like $11.95 or something. So obviously amazing uh, deal and I needed to get some fall candles. So by the time this video goes up, hopefully that sale will be still going on. Highly recommend going to check it out. They also had a sale on their hand soaps, which I feel like they always do, but you could have gotten like six for something or I got the four for I think like $20 or something like that. and. They're $7.50 a piece, so that's a really good deal. So I got four hand soaps. I got the white coconut caramel flavor. Um, this is kind of like a fall scent. I got an almond blossom. This is kind of more aesthetically pleasing, but I, I smelled it and it smelled kind of like fall. 
I got the classic sweet cinnamon pumpkin and then the sweater weather. So um, I wanted to get ones that were also a little bit more aesthetic looking because I won't be putting them in another tube. So you know me and my aesthetic guys. And then I picked out three candles. These are my classic go-tos. It's hard to keep them around for long though because I burn through them so fast. But I, ooh, there's a mark on it. I love the Marshmallow Fireside. It's amazing. I do like this more so for like late fall, I feel, when it actually is cool out. It's kind of like close to Thanksgiving, um, almost Christmas. That was really good. But let's see which one is this. The Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I don't think I really ever get this one. But it's really sweet and pumpkin-y. And if you don't like really sweet candles, you probably won't like that. But I like really sweet candles um, and like very musky scents. So this one is a little bit more musky. Yeah, this one's more musky with like a slight twist of sweetness. It's toasted marshmallows, smoldering wood, spy roasted vanilla. That's like the sweeter side. Crystallized amber with essential oils. The, let's see, the pumpkin pecan waffles is maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, brown sugar, and essential oils. So, and then last but not least, this is like one of my all time favorite candles. No, it's not leaves, guys, I'm not basic. <laughs> no. Um, I tried to get the more aesthetic ones too. They're like matte little things and they, yeah, they're cute. But I got flannel. Flannel is my favorite. It is so musky and it reminds me so much of high school when, not high school, I, well yeah, I think it was like the end of high school when I like started burning this candle and just brings back early fall men's, the Bloomsburg Fair. If you guys know, you know. I don't know. I just really love this scent so, so much. And it says, fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, soft musk with essential oil. So this is totally like a musky, deep scent, if that makes sense. So I can't wait to burn these. I don't know if I'm going to burn them tonight because I'm going to go to bed. But I'm so excited to burn these this week. And if you do have the opportunity to check out Bath and Body Works, totally do it. Also from Lush, I just picked out um, something for Dom. So I will put this in here, maybe I will not, if, I, if this will go up before he gets his present. But I got him Kalamazoo. It's a beard and facial wash and it smells so good and he loves this. So I picked that up for him and also, one of our favorite things, and I just personally love the smell on him, is a little thing called R&B, and it's kind of just like a moisturizer, but he puts it on his beard, and it smells amazing. Oh my god. That's like my favorite scent. That's what, when I think of Dom in a scent, it's this R&B from Lush. So, that is everything that I got. I'm going to finish unpacking. I'm going to throw on my show. I'm currently watching All American right now. It's really freaking good. I'm on season two, episode three, I think. So I'm going to throw that on while I unpack and then hop into bed and go to bed. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this weekend's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you aren't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. Um, give this video a like and I will talk to you guys in the next one.